In this project, we're going to replace the original equipment manual door lock with an automatic one made by RVLock.com. And we bought this wireless door lock actually on Black Friday. They had a sale and they were 100 bucks off. And now that the weather is nicer, it's time to install it. This is the right hand version. They also make a left hand version. This is version 4.0 and you can still buy version 3.0 from the manufacturer. It also specifies that it fits most trailers and you can actually go online like I did and you can find out what the dimension is for the cutout and I was able to ascertain that the dimension cutout was the same size. So this shouldn't be any more than about a 20 minute project. It does come with one wireless fob and we probably should have ordered a second fob when we uh, bought this but we didn't realize it. But you can buy extra fobs. And just a real small set of instructions. Not a whole lot. Mostly just the programming and syncing instructions. Certificate of authenticity that it's an official product. And 10% off your next order. So maybe I'll order the second key fob and get 10% off. And it does have a set of keys so that is an override if you lose a battery because this is battery operated. And then here's the strike plate. And then uh, here is the key fob in a slightly bashed in box. Now I don't really see an owner's manual per se. So I'm going to go online and see if I can find one because it seems like this should have one. So I went to the website and I was able to download couple instructions. This first one gives you the dimensions of the cutout that it should be. And then a set of instructions that uh, was not included here. And it looks pretty straightforward. Now there are several videos on how to install this so I'm not going to really replicate that here. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and install it and kind of give you just some impressions as I do as to how easy it is to do and any difficulties I ran into. Now there are some people that complained that when they have installed these that the cutout kind of goes over here a little bit and then when they put the new lock on there's a gap and if that's the case RV lock has a little gasket that you can buy that's a little bit larger. And actually after fitting this in here I can see the gap right here where the cut out is so it's a little bit too close to my comfort so I think I'm going to take this back out and I'm going to order a little gasket that they have as an option. Well what was supposed to be a gasket it ended up just being a sticker and they sent me the wrong one to begin with and then uh, I had them send me the right one but still I don't know how well this is going to work. You know why wouldn't you make that a little bit wider? I don't know just seems kind of silly. But we'll try it anyway. We'll see if these will work. But I'm a little disappointed in this. I thought it might be a little more of a thick piece of plastic because I don't know how much better of a seal that's going to make. And so I put the sticker on here. I don't think this is going to do anything to make this gap less. I think this is pretty much worthless. Well I am a little surprised but it does seem like it uh, closes the gap a little bit. Well, I'll say I have some silicone here. I'm just going to put a bead around there. And to get it to fit properly, I did have to trim this out just a little bit and gouge out just a little bit of the styrofoam. So just a little fit and finish type issues. And now the only residual issue is that that little sticker is not even from the top to the bottom, but it is even on the hole inside. So I don't know if they cut it wrong or what, but... I think what I'll do is after that silicone dries, I'll run a pen knife around there and trim some of that off so it looks better. So the next step is to program the fobs. And you do that by turning the fob learn switch on and use a sharp something and hit the switch, which gives you about 20 seconds. And then you just push this until you hear a long button. And there we go. Since I bought that little gasket, I ended up buying another one 10% off, so I have two fobs now. 
And the next step is to program this to our personal code because it comes with one, two, three, four. So if you go one, two, three, four, lock, and then one, two, three, four, unlock. It's going to be too hard to hold the camera while we program in the new code, but you'll get the idea. And the only issue with reprogramming this is you need to reprogram these fobs again whenever you change the code, which I suppose makes sense. And one other thing we discovered is this has to be on for these key fobs to work. The instructions aren't very clear, but this is actually enables or disables the key fobs, which I suppose makes sense because you can keep people from, if somebody stole one of these or you lost it, you could turn that off. So now we have three ways to access the coach, either by key, on the keypad, or by the fob. Now these key fobs will control two locks. And we don't have a second door, so if you had a second door, you could control it with a second one. But they also make a replacement for these slam latches. And if we find that we have good luck with this, then maybe we'll order a slam latch uh, for one of these and use it on the second set.